Hello. What is going on, guys? Today we are opening up a Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth bundle. These bundles are great. I love them because they come with card boxes, and I use those boxes for everything. Um, the bundles come with uh, 20 traditional foil lands, 20 regular basic lands. Um, you get eight set boosters now. You used to get um, you used to get ten draft boosters or six draft boosters. You used to get draft boosters. Now you get set boosters, which I like opening set boosters a lot more than I like opening draft boosters. Just as like a product thing. Obviously, I like to use draft boosters when you need to draft. Um, otherwise, I prefer set boosters because you get some fun, more fun stuff in there. Um, it comes with a set of four alt art traditional foil doom scene mount doom scene cards so these are the um cards that make a huge like mural a, a larger piece of art if you combine the cards together uh you get two reference cards and then you get a lord of the rings tales of middle earth card box and a oversized life counter spin down dice um yeah i love the key art in this set so far really um it's a really cool key art they've done a fantastic job some some of the best art that magic's ever put out i think with this lord of the rings set so let's open this bad boy up and start checking it out got a nice little pull tab on the side usually what i do is i like take all the contents out and then i tape this back closed so that i have a nice little display on my shelf of all the bundles and stuff I've opened, all the sets I've been a part of. We got a nice little piece of lava, lava art right at the edge of the box. We'll slip this out. Oh. And we got a, a nice little card. My name is growing all the time and I've lived a very long, long time. So my name is like a story. Cool. And then on the back side there, we've got the card art. Very neat. I like that. Not my favorite. Some of these bundle kind of pamphlets or whatever you want to call them. Mini posters are really, really sick. Uh, this one's okay. I like that one. It's not bad. Uh, then we've got the box. So the box has this beautiful art of the one ring being thrown into the lava of Mount Doom. And then on the top here, we've kind of got this like gilded edged Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth frame. It's super disparate. Like it does not fit in with the box art. I kind of wish that there wasn't this backdrop on it and it was just the lava or whatever the rest of the scene is. It looks really awkward. And it's got like an edge. You can see the lava art around the edge. Really weird. Uh, but you open this up. And what we've got inside is a bunch of set boosters. We've got a bunch of punch outs. So there's some cardboard counters. There's some markers if you want to mark your deck or set reminders for things. Um, we've got a Saruman on one side and a Galadriel on the other. I think that's Galadriel. These are okay. I don't really use them for anything though. So I usually just kind of toss them. I already have a really big drawer filled with like the one, one punch out counters. Actually, I don't have any ring bearer counters. One of the bigger mechanics in this set is naming and giving someone the one ring and so these markers might be nice to just have in the box in the drawer to signify who the ring bearer is here we've got our ooh that does not look like the die on the back of the box so the back of the box has this like kind of white kind of marble die the one in the box is this like stunning green color 
and all of the l numbers are like have this gilded border that's very cool i like this quite a lot i like that i can there's bubbles in the die i don't know if you can see that very well but this is a very nice die i like that that might be my new favorite spin down it doesn't really pick up very well like it's it's almost impossible to read if I flip that over to 19, it would take me a second to realize it said 19. But I like that. That's really neat. And then here we've got our packs and our lands and stuff. Um, I love these boxes. I use them um, in all my card sorting drawers. I use these to like put cards aside as I'm like building a deck. I usually build decks in these. And these, I, you can't have enough of these bad boys. So having more of those is fantastic. We're going to put our garbage in the lid and our cards in the bottom. I believe. I believe that's how we're going to do it. Don't, don't hold your breath. Okay, so these are usually lands. But I know we also get some promo cards in here. I don't know which pack it is. So these are, so it looks like they gave us two of each of the land arts for the basic lands. These are just the basics and a couple of indicator cards. Those are great. I love some basic lands. Oh, it looks like we've got, um, looks like we've got the promo cards in this one, the foil version. So I'm assuming these are the foil lands, so. So we've got Frodo Sauron's Bane. We've got Samwise the Stout-Hearted. Gollum the Patient Plotter. Horrible looking Gollum. And then the One Ring. And then we've got our two of each foil lands. These are really nice foils. Um, a new oh. I do professional artwork for streamers. Would you like to see? No, thank you. Um, I appreciate you jumping here and immediately pitching your business. Um, but I'd prefer you didn't. So these four cards make like a nice little scene. Um, currently, there aren't any like good versions of... Oh. There aren't any good versions of like card frames that kind of set you up to display these very well but this is like a nice little scene where Frodo's thrown the ring over the edge Sam is fearful for Frodo's safety and obviously Gollum's trying to grab the one ring before it falls into the fire um, these are really cool I really like these the Alright, I'm just seeing if I have any more of my favorite. I think I don't think I do. The One Ring has actually become quite the commodity. So if you are so people are spending quite a bit of money on these. Let me just bring it up real quick. Uh, the One Ring. So these are 60, oh, the foil version is 66.50. And we just got ours for $50 by simply just buying the bundle. And it comes with all the other cards. So if you can, if you're interested in making a few dollars or, you know, you're trying desperately to find a one ring... Uh, just buy a bundle because it comes in them guaranteed. And it's the alt art version, so it's, you know, 10 more dollars than the normal version. It looks like the most expensive version, other than obviously the serialized ones, are the normal non-bordered foil. But this one is the second most expensive version um, at $67. And I paid less than $67 for this bundle. So it just makes sense. Also, Gollum's got like, I don't know if I can capture it on camera, but he's got like four. Oh, there it was. 
He's got like foiling in his eyes. Absolutely horrific. Oh, there we go. That's creepy. I love it. I love it. Hey, Freeze, you love it? No, you love napping. So, yeah, these are really cool. I, um... I really appreciate that sometimes when you buy sealed product from Wizards of the Coast, you don't really feel like you're getting something cool, something different. Um, you know, I'm kind of sad that they went with the basic lands instead of the full art lands. Um, but I don't like I, I don't need more basic lands. I have boxes of lands. Uh, what I do want more of is the cool full art lands because I have, you know, a handful. I bought a full set at like 10 cents a piece. Uh, I bought a full set. Each of these, there's two versions of each land in the map. Um, I bought a full set at like 10 cents a piece for my collection because I collect uh, full art basics. But it's weird that like the, the bundles don't come with those versions. I just want to take a look real quick because I know that the gift bundle... It looks like my local store is sold out of Lord of the Rings bundles, which is hilarious because they don't sell out of any bundles ever. They never sell out of bundles. Yeah, so the gift bundle is $130 because it comes with one collector booster. And the collector boosters are the only way to potentially find the one ring. Uh, but now we could just start opening some packs. Um, I'm going to open them close to camera, so I'm going to press my close button. Knocked over my little Pam there. So these are set boosters. Again, they come with specific alt art slots in them. They are not draftable because there's only 12 cards per pack. And I believe the order is art card first. Ooh, we got a full art. Island, very nice. Gimli's Fury. Put that in the red pile. Erebor Flamesmith. Bag and Porter. That's a pretty good card, actually. Mirror Mare Guardian. Enraged Huern. You cannot pass. Lost to Legend. Another good card. Ooh, we got a Grimma Worm Tongue. I think I'm going to need a little bit more space, so let me move my die over. Blue, black, okay. Grimma Worm Tongue. Opponents can't gain life. Love to see it. Uh, we got a Mirkwood Bats. This card's awesome. The, the extended art is really great, too. Then we got a Sting, the Glinting Dagger. And our foil is Old Man Willow. Old Man River. Fun. And we got a, a nice food token. Some of the food tokens are not nice. They are rude. They're like humans in spider webs. It's not a good look. Uh, oh, we got a magic back in here. We might get a list card. Might get a list card. It's a nice little Aragorn art. We got a foil swamp. Greyhaven Navigator. Nimrodel Watcher. Haunt of the Dead Marshes. Chance Met Elves. Elrond, Lord of Rivendell. Pretty good card. Uh, Gandalf, Friend of the Shire. Horses of Bruinen. 
Golem patient. Pl I love these ring. So the ring alt art um, is like these characters at their moment of weakness or their greatest moment of tr uh, trial. And so they're really cool looking. And we've got an Eleanor Gardner. Halfling scout with food tokens. Ooh, we got a plant Palantir of Orthanc. That's a really good card. And a Lash of the Balrog foil. And then we did get a um, a list card. Invasive Surgery. I love this card. Counter target sorcery spell. Then if you have Delirium, uh, you can search the graveyard hand or library for that spell. For as many copies of that spell. Exile them. That player shuffles his or her library. It's only towards sorceries, though, which is interesting, but uh, I don't mind it. All right, two down. Let's keep going. Nice little art card. Who is this? This is Faramir. Sweet. We've got an island. Im improvised club. I wanted to call it impoverished club. Lash of the Balrog. Nasty end. Sirith Ungol patrol. Eorith the healing house. Erkenbrand lord of Westfold. Eomer of the Rittermark. Prince Imrahil the Fair. We're just getting all the legendary creatures. Gothmog, or Gothmom as we call him. Oh, shoot. We got a Bowmaster. Then we get a Foil Bill Fernie. And an Orc Army token. That is cool. I love a good Bowmaster. This is the first one we've opened, too, so that'll be awesome to add to the collection. Uh, one second. I'm just going to... Here, I'm going to go to full cam. I'm going to take my camera off for a moment. One uh, momento. Taking a little snapshot. I really like this die. It's really neat. I'm just going to leave it there, though. I need to stop touching it. Stop touching it. <sighs> Orcish Bowmaster, eh? It's a pretty good pick up. What are they selling for right now? They are so they're selling for 30 bucks. The normal version. Hey. All right. Let's move on to the next pack. Let's jump up close again. Actually, I should put this Palantir in a sleeve too, just in case. I don't know if they're worth anything right now, but uh, might as well treat our mythics with respect, shall we? Oh, we got a nice Samwise card. Ooh, another full art island. Nice. Birthday escape. I love this card. Arwen's gift. Hithlian knots. 
Gore Bag. That was my nickname in high school. Saruman's Trickery. Saruman the White. Nice. Then we got Shire Sheriff. Sheriff. Oh, yes. Rivendell. Hype. I've been waiting to open this card. Um, it's been on my wish list for a while, and it's the full art version. I love this card. Just a decent legendary land. This is going straight into my Nazgul deck. Um, you know, just a pay two, scry two. It's pretty good. And then we've got a full art Mary Esquire of Rohan. And a Fall of Gil Galad. Gil Galad is our rare and then our foil is a mirror of gladriel again shout out to wizards of the coast for making the worst secret layer ever with mirror of gladriel you automatically lose like 30 dollars when you buy that secret layer it is hilarious um all right. Sweet art card. We've got a foil planes. A nasty end. Sirith Ungle Patrol. Shilob's Ambush. Hobbit Sting. Gollum's Bite. Gandalf's Sanction. Council's Deliberation. A Stone of Eric. A full alt art nasty end. Love the art on that one. We got a Gandalf the Grey as our rare. And then our foil is Theoden, King of Rohan. And we got a ring counter. So these are perforated so that you don't have to use the um, the little ring punch outs. You can just tear this thing off. You put this card on your, um, your creature. This is my ring bearer, whatever. And then this can stay off to the side and keep track of what level your ring is at. Um, I like that. It's a neat little design. I kind of wish that the art wasn't like all fingers and no ring, but uh, you can only be so picky. All right, we got three left. Three left. Hiya. We've got a nice little mountains card. Full art forest. Gotta love it. Sam's Desperate Rescue. Now for Wrath, now for Ruin. Breaking of the Fellowship. Glorious. This card's great. Glorious Gale. Did work for me on our pre-release day. Stew the Conies. You Cannot Pass Again. Another Lost to Legend. Another Elrond. Ooh, a Gimli Counter of Kills. Alt Art. Gimli is pretty dope. Ooh, we got a Saruman of many colors. That's pretty hype. Saruman. And then our foil is a full art Balrog Durin's Bane. That's cool. Gotta love a good Balrog. And then another food token. Okay, we got two left. Let me just throw a sleeve on that Saruman. Throw a sleeve onto Saruman. Very cool. All right, two left. Got a nice Gandalf piece of art here. Pretty good. Uh, forest for our basic Willow Wind. Greyhaven Navigator. Nimrod Watcher. The Bath Song. The Grey Havens. A Glorfindel Dauntless Rescuer. Arwen Undumiel. Another Mirkwood Bats. Nice. Assault on Osgoliath. This is a really good card as our rare. But we got two rares. 
Eomer, Marshal of Rohan. And our foil is a Took Reaper. And we've got a shitty garbage. No use card. Silly fool of a Took. That's a nice double rare pack. What does Eomer do? When one or more other attacking legendary creatures you control die, untap all creatures you control. Then after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. This ability triggers only once per turn. That's nasty. That's nasty. All right, last one. We've got a nice Sauron alt art there. We got a full art planes. Urukai Berserker. Mordor Trebuchet. This card did work for me too. I love that card. Rush the Room. Oleg High Crusher. Another Gore Bag. Saruman's Trickery. Saruman the White. Grishnak Brash Instigator. And then we've got a F our Art card is the Knights of Dol Amroth, and our rare is Legolas Master Archer. And our foil is a foil you cannot pass. And then we've got, ooh, a list card, Blessed Reversal. Gain three life for each creature attacking you. That's pretty cool. That is all she wrote. That was our bundle. Um, again, I'll mention that, like, if you can get a hold of these bundles, which are just the standard bundles, um, it comes with these four kind of display cards. This one card is worth more than the bundle. So you immediately make a profit if you just buy the bundle and sell this one card. Then all the other cards you open are just gravy. So if you can find it, definitely hunt down a bundle. If you're also just looking for a copy of the One Ring because they're scarce and they're very expensive, um, I would definitely consider just buying a bundle if you want one copy of the One Ring. Uh, what did we open? Okay. We got a Legolas, which is pretty cool. We got a Sauron, Balrog, Extended Art. Ba ba ba. That was kind of it for legendary creatures. We got some cool list cards. I wonder, is Blessed Reversal worth anything? It is a rare. Nope. 48 cents. Ba -ba. We got a couple of list cards in this box and I really appreciate them um, yeah like I said it's worth it to buy the bundle whether you're just going to turn around and sell the one ring or you want a copy of the one ring I think it's 100% worth it to just go out there and get one if you can find it it seems like some people are catching on to this so uh, like my local store, for instance, is sold out, which is interesting because they don't ever sell out of bundles, in my experience. Maybe like months, months down the line they sell out, but uh, it is not a, a common occurrence. And then we've got a Palantir, which is a good grab. And wait, no, lands before base colorless. So 
So we got some pretty good pickups. We got a copy of Rivendell, which is something we've been hunting for a bit. A Palantir, Fall of Gilgahad, Assault on Ozgalath, an Orcish Bowmaster, a Balrog. Um, am I am I missing something? Oh, my Eomer. It's a pretty good bundle, if you ask me. I got um, one card I was looking for, very specifically. I got some cool cards that I wasn't looking for. Going through checking again, making sure I didn't miss any rares. You have to post the flex photo. Whenever you open sealed product, you, you post a flex photo of like, here's all the rares I opened. It's just common courtesy. Ba -ba. It is common courtesy. Oh, and the sting. That is everything. We got some good lands, which is awesome. A couple of more um, full art islands, which I appreciate. I'm going to use those like crazy. I don't need... I think I have to I think I have two swamps and two islands in my wish list, so now I can take the islands out, which is great. And then we'll do a nice little spread of these four. Cause these these you get in every bundle. So again, this one card is worth more than the price you pay for the bundle. Um, so if you're looking to get a copy of the One Ring or you're looking to just make some profit, because every other card you open is just pure profit at that point. Investment-wise, for card openers, um, for sealed streamers, this is a fantastic deal. Trying to get my feet out of the picture. Where am I supposed to put my feet? Sweet. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I did that. No Nazgul's though. So frustrating. I just want more the rest of the Nazgul's. I just want them. I just want to finish this deck so I can play it. What a shame for me to want to play the deck I'm building. Uh, I think we'll play probably open up arena. I haven't opened any of my um, I haven't opened any of my Lord of the Rings packs from arena yet so we got some more opening to do. Just the digital version. Which is way less fun. I honestly couldn't care less what I open in Arena. 
most of the time you're like fending for yourself and and um using wild cards to build the decks you want anyway so yeah pretty nice haul from that um bundle we got an orcish bow masters um which is the card everyone's loving uh we got a saruman of many colors nice full art foil balrog um and then yeah the collector cards that came in the bundle pretty decent a palantir I like it. I do. We also opened up a Pam. We found a little office blind box thing. And we got a Pam. So now we have a desk Pam to watch over us. Just kind of scary looking over there though. And this dice, right. I forgot to show you the die again. This die is amazing. Very cool. It's really hard to read, uh, but I love the color. I love the gilded um, edges around the numbers. Um, yeah, that came in the bundle as well. And um, yeah, I suppose it's time for me to refill beverages and take a little break if you're watching this on youtube later thank you so much for making it to the end um if you're watching this on twitch we're just gonna take a quick bio break and then we'll launch arena and maybe do some drafts after we open our lord of the rings packs we haven't launched arena since the set came out so we'll probably poke around the store a little bit and just chill 